Kids in every corner of Colorado love playing with trains, and a young man in Louisville has a favorite he is adding to his collection. Weighs about 22 tons. Our Travis Cachatorian has that. Daddy, I'm really happy Me too. excited. I know, this is going to be so cool. Taking on a father-son project can be a ton of work. For Travis sure. Ramos and his son Tate. Yeah, we can work down on that, and that one's loose too. It's 22 and a half tons to be exact. Lots of challenges. We got a little more than we bargained for, but we're excited to, to keep the process going here. About a month ago, Travis and Tate stumbled upon some bad news. I was actually just walking by the old train cars restaurant, and I came back here to take a look at the caboose just because I hadn't seen it in a few years, and there's a notice of demolition on the door. My name is Tate, and I'm seven years old. And we're going to save the caboose. That's when the whole Ramos family devised a plan to cut the caboose free from its tracks and move it across town to be restored Yay! before its scheduled demolition. I just think it's a really fun project. It's one of the biggest projects I've ever done. There's a lot of firsts uh, in the process of doing this. We learned how to uh, drive an excavator with you know Tate uh, sitting in my lap uh, and, and his brother Reed as well. It's been hard work going under there. There's spiders everywhere. There's dust. There's pieces of cement and things. Thank you for helping support the Louisville Caboose. No me, no me, Dad. They put in a lot of work, but saving the caboose was going to take a lot more money than these two could take on alone. So they reached out to the Louisville community for help. Oh my gosh, it's the response has been amazing. Uh, we put out the, the campaign on Friday and within about 48 hours, we raised about 60% of what we needed just from the community coming together, sharing it you know, on Facebook, on Instagram and otherwise. Uh -huh. Travis and Tate still have thousands more to raise. You know, we're gonna band together and, and, and make this happen. Every donation going towards saving memories past. I'm so excited! And creating new ones too. For next, Travis Ketchatorian. They figured they'll need about $14,000 to move the train with a crane and then restore it and hopefully put it on display in downtown Louisville.